LMP3 and we have taken it kind of to the next level. We decided to go after some track records and needed a better ECU platform and Link has really stepped up to the plate with their new G5. Uh, it kind of checked all the boxes for us and we decided to uh, run with it and so far it's worked out great. A large amount of changes have happened. Uh, the motor in stock form had restrictors uh, behind the throttle body plates and that made it to where it was about 420 horsepower. Uh, we've changed quite a bit as in uh, adding force induction and uh, we're shooting for right around that thousand-ish mark. Uh, maybe, maybe a little lower during the testing. Uh, just get everything set as far as uh, balance of the car. But uh, yeah, when it's turned up to full wick, I'm, I'm sure it'll be double digits. We, uh, we ripped out all the electronics, including all the wiring. Um, it came with a homologated Morelli that was locked down and we wanted something we were more familiar with and something definitely more usable because uh, we wanted to expand on it quite a bit and obviously uh, change the tuning a bit with the addition of turbochargers. So uh, we have changed the layout of the interior with switch panels that are much easier to use, uh, a little more up to date with can keypads that are you know assignable, stuff like that. Uh, on this car we've used you know, if you need something very fast, you end up making it by hand. Uh, if you want something a little nicer and maybe a little more important of a part, then we've used anything from 3D printing for the, uh, the switch panel in it, uh, all the way up to, you know, CNC, SIN cuts in, CAD. A lot of times we'll get stuff drawn up if we've got the time just to make a nicer part and then uh, send it out and that makes fabrication that much easier. It's literally just bending it the way it needs to be and welding it together. And, you know, these, these cars are pretty sensitive uh, when it comes to weight balance. I any change you make is going to be a large result. So if you're changing weight with a bunch of heavy manifolds, then it, you're really going to have to go back to the, the drawing board and, and figure out how to make the car handle that in a happy manner in all situations. My name is John Etheridge. I work, I own Electridge Wiring. Um, I was part of the build for this particular LMP3 project. We're targeting switching over completely to a completely new ECU, everything that would be programmable. The wiring was completely redone. We tried to implement uh, any potential sensor that we may eventually use, so it ended up being a very complex harness. Well, so most cars, uh, typically every now and then they'll have one or two EGTs. We have 10 on this. Uh, most cars don't do uh, back pressure, exhaust back pressure. We have one for each side. We have turbo speed for each side so that we can limit how fast the turbos are moving. We have shock pots for front and rear. We have shock pots for the center one. We have shock pots, the tire temps, two different types we implemented. We implemented wiring to control uh, external CAN devices on the back as far as laser ride height type things. Um, we basically built the loom and the harness to try and not have to add anything else. Like, there's a lot of connectors that are already set there basically for that specific purpose for add-on pieces. The G5 ECU offers um, dual throttle body control, uh, traction control, a lot of the things that we needed to uh, set this feature up. As far as the platform, it was an opportunity for both Link and us to show what a Link ECU could do. So we planned to take it home and immediately get to work. Uh, you know, getting all the programming done is going to be quite a chore, but uh, obviously with the help of uh, Link, Link team and uh, John from Electric Wiring, we, uh, we should knock it out in probably the next month or so. And then uh, it's testing, testing, testing until uh, Super Lap Battle in March at uh, Circuit of the Americas. You know, the ultimate goal of the car is to go faster than any 
privateer team has, and uh, we're going to inch our way there. So you can probably see bits of it on the Link website or their social media, and uh, you can check out Proto Tempo on Instagram and uh, a little more in depth on Facebook. We we'll go through some of the build process, what it took to get there, kind of why we made some of the choices we did. But uh, you know, it's it's a one man passion project and. Uh, just kind of getting my friends to help me along the way. That's probably the best part is getting getting all my friends to help and kind of rally around the car and it really, uh, really is the best part of this build.